Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a short box filled with gold, silver, bronze, modern stuff uh, that I will be taking a look at with you. This one's probably gonna take a while. I might split it up into two videos. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First up, I've got a Action 252. First appearance of Supergirl here. Uh, pretty cool book. Nice lower grade copy, but solid. It's got a nice little written date stamp on top. After that, we have, let's see, another Golden Age DC. This one is All-Star Comics, number 51. Lower grade copy. Pretty solid again, just has that corner piece that's missing. We have a Spider-Man number six. Different than my other copy I showed off a little while ago that had all the paint all over the cover. This one's a little bit nicer. We have a Spider-Man number 11 here. This one's pretty solid too. I even call this one mid-grade or so. After that, we have Spider-Man number 20. First appearance of Scorpion. Uh, only downside is the tanning on the right side and that missing piece. Uh, I got this one for a really good deal. I think I paid 50 or 75 bucks, so I was happy for this one. Happy about this one. Up next is Spider-Man number 40. Of course, the classic Green Goblin battle story. We have a slightly higher grade copy. Uh, here's number 96. This might have been the uh, non-code approved series. What was it, like 96 or 97 through 98 or 99? Yeah, this one, yeah, this one doesn't have a, one of these uh, approved by the code here. Then we've got number 122. Death of the Goblin in that one. Uh, here is Spider-Man 129. This is a pretty low grade copy, maybe a three to four. Um, no, this is not accurate. Um, I uh, used a different bag and board for this copy that I had lying around. So definitely paid, I think I paid four to 450 for this one. Actually, I probably overpaid for that book based on the condition, but it was online, didn't really feel like returning it, and I think I can break even on it at least. Uh, this one is Spider-Man 230 with the Juggernaut. Then we've got a couple of Spider-Man 361s with Carnage. We have the first printing, higher grade copy, and then the second printing, which is that silver tone background. Um, this one I put a sticky note on it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it pressed or not. It's got this long crease that doesn't break the color. Let's see if we can see it here in the light. Kind of see it. Yeah, there we go. Right there, it's got that crease on the cover that I think will come right out, and then after that it'll be pretty high grade. So, might have that one pressed. Uh, last Spider-Man here. Last Amazing Spider-Man, at least. Uh, number 430, battling the... Well, with the Silver Surfer, battling Carnage. That's a pretty cool cover. Uh, after that is a nice Aquaman cover, Battling Black Manta. This is Aquaman number 42. Um, I actually bought this book uh, in Spain when I went to the Madrid Comic Convention. Uh, I think I made a video of the convention itself. Uh, I haven't yet made a video of all the Spanish comics that I bought, but it was really cool to find this one. Um, I think I found a Black Panther number one, which might be in this this box or another one. Um, but pretty cool to find these older American comics in Europe. And I think I paid 14 euros for this one, which is probably 16, 17 dollars at the time. Uh, so definitely a great deal for a classic cover and a semi key book here. All right, moving on, we've got some more books. Stop right about there. 
Okay, first up, we've got uh, some Avengers. We have 58, the vision in the background. And we have uh, 71. Nice higher grade copy. Uh, 87. This one also I bought in Europe. Um, looks like I did not take the price tag off this one actually. So let's see, 29 euro. Um, from my experience dealing with the dealers over there, um, you know, the communication barriers there. So I tried to haggle a little bit, but um, they wouldn't give very much of a discount. Uh, Might've gotten 5% or something off the lot that I bought from this seller. I bought this one, uh, the same as the Aquaman number 42 and the Black Panther. I bought this one from the same dealer. Uh, this one was actually the most expensive comic that I bought from him. I forgot about it though. But it's a nice higher grade copy of Avengers 87. Origin of Black Panther also, by the way. Up next, a couple of Bronze Age Avengers. We have 112 with the Mantis. We have 135 with the Ultron cover. And 144, first Hellcat, I believe. Uh, a couple more Avengers issues here. We have 257. Um, oh man, her name's escaping me. Nebula, maybe? It might be the first Nebula. Um, nice high grade copy. And then number 10. Is this the first Rogue? I, I think it is. Rogue or another X Men character. Um, but that's a nice high grade copy as well. And we've got a few Batmans. Here is number 244. Really great Adams cover here. And we've got a high grade copy of 286. The Joker battle on a roller coaster. Very nice. After that, we've got 358, which I think might be the second Killer Croc or maybe even the first full appearance or something. There's the first cover, at least, I believe. 359. So I think 357 might have been the first appearance. Uh, but anyways, 357 through 359 are a little bit higher priced than normal Batmans. Key issues. Here's 655. Um, I think this is the first Damien um, on the new Robins. We have Batman Adventures number 28. This is a really solid copy. I considered this uh, getting this graded, but I think there were one or two spine ticks from keeping it from a 9.8. Um, I'm not sure if it's still worth submitting uh, with a pre-screen or not. Uh, I don't have too much experience grading a lot of higher end stuff. I've got a pile, pile like several piles of books that are kind of in the 9.4, 9.8 range. Um, that I think I want to send off to CGC, but I just, I don't know if like, I see a tiny little thing on the spine, I'm just like, okay, it's not really worth it to send to CGC. Um, but maybe it is with a pre-screen because I guess it doesn't hurt. Um, and you know, potential to make money there. So if, you, if anyone has any feedback on that, uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, if I should just go for it or, or whatnot. But anyways, for now, I'll probably leave this one ungraded. Uh, up next is Black Panther number one, another copy, mid-grade, awesome Jack Kirby stuff. Oh, here we go. Uh, here's the one I bought in Spain. So this one actually was, well, I bought this one in the, on the back of it. He had a number two as well, um, but bought this one for 30 euros, which is still a pretty good deal. It's a mid to high-grade copy, probably like six or seven. So just awesome to find that overseas. Uh, then we have a Western, Golden Age Western, Black Rider, number 11. I've got a couple miscellaneous Golden Age stuff like this in this box that we'll take a look at. Uh, here's some other stuff. I've got another Captain America um, that I think I might want to press. There's probably some non-color break increase on this book that might push it above uh, 
the 9.0 range. Um, 217 might be the first Quasar. Maybe that's in the Hulk series. I don't know. But anyways, this one's a semi-key issue. Um, then we have the Punisher cover here. 241. Really cool cover. All right. I'll probably go through 20 more books or so and then cut this video off. We'll stop at Detective. A couple more Captain Americas. We have number 360. Two copies of those, of that book. Um, this one, I think, is the first Crossbones, possibly. Um, part of the Bloodstone Hunt uh, arc, story arc. Then we've got some Captain Americas from the... Um, I think this is the 2004-2005 series. Um, we've got four copies of number six, which I believe is the first Winter Soldier. Um, this is the primary cover. I think the other cover has the Winter Soldier as the main character on the cover. So, a couple nice high-grade copies of that. Up next, we have Captain Marvel books. Um, some awesome Starlin stuff. Here's number 26, which I believe is the first Thanos cover. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually him or one of his robots. Um, but anyways, really great book. Awesome Bronze Age book. This one, I love this cover, Captain Marvel 33. I believe this is the last, um, last issue, or last part of the story for all this cosmic... Uh, this whole cosmic storyline, I think, gets wrapped up in this issue. Up next, we have a 30 cent price variant. This is uh, number, Champions number seven. Um, not crazy expensive, just, you know, 30 cent price variants or go for way more than the regular issue. Uh, here's another one of those random Golden Age books I mentioned, Crack Western number 71. And some more of those. We have Crime Detective. Uh, what is this? Like, they have like several volumes of this. I don't know if this is volume two or three or what issue number two. Um, just a nice Golden Age book. We have Crime Must Pay the Penalty, number 34. There's a Crime Suspense Stories, number 10. I think I've got a better copy of this one that I'm keeping. But I'm probably going to sell this one off. Um, this one, this book I've known, I know, ah, sorry, I know I've shown before, um, in a different video. It's got, um, cut out here, obviously, but also this is from a different book. It's taped on. Um, I need to get, like, a knife or something and try to pry that tape off. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably be selling this book as well. After that, just a couple Deadpools. We have number one. Um, no, I didn't pay 50 bucks for it, probably half that or so. And then number four. All right, well, let's wrap this video up. Um, I'll pause it here and then do the other half of the box. Um, well, we're starting with Detective, so just a quick sneak peek of what's next to come. There you go. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys again soon.